that's recorded uh, so that we we can have uh, our students that are not able to be here with us uh, to follow up on the recording. I would like to welcome you again. Let me, since I'm on record, let me repeat what I was saying when I was not on record. First of all, I uh, thank my God that enabled us to go through the year 2022. And I also informed you that I'm in Uganda, so I'm conducting the class online. I think next week, if all goes well, I will be in Cameroon. Uh, so you bear with me. I'm also saying we will not stay too long because I know that data in Cameroon is not easy to have, especially when you're a student, <laughs> it is not very easy. So, but uh, and then I'm also saying that we have already done the first part of the assessment. The first part of the assessment was uh, assessing you on technical presentation. We were grouped and got a scenario, best question, where we prepared. And indeed, some of us did so well uh, in our presentations. We were supposed to have uh, voted, you know, we had marks for voting, but since we are not physically in class, I would think that uh, we will uh, compensate the voting marks for each and everybody, and I'll handle that at the level of my capacity as the instructor. So we are keen to say that we are done with the assessment uh, assignment, which is over 20 marks. But don't forget, we also need to do the CA coupled with uh, our participations and our attendance marks. So we need to complete this before, uh, okay, there are people that are putting up their hands. Uh, first, you have your hand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, concerning the voting. Uh, I lost you. I don't know whether it is on my end or at your end. It, can any other person get to get to hear me? Hello? Ah, okay, okay. Hello? Yeah, we lost you. We lost you. So can you take it over yes, again? Sir. Yes, sir. I get you. Okay, I will think, uh, can you get me, please? Yeah, we get you now. Okay, so I was saying we can create a Google form sheet that we will put, we can put the different groups and from there we share it in the group, the technical writing group and uh, people can vote without necessarily you being here. So we can uh, have a suggestion, like we can do it and we can still have an update on the voting part. No, no, no. Let us let us. Tankul, uh, uh, why are you presenting your screen, please? We, <laughs> uh, you have uh, disorganized us. Can you please stop sharing? Uh, Frank Bell, you are presenting your screen. Please, please, please. Close. Stop your presentation, please. Is he there? Wow, this guy, this guy is, uh, is a ninja. <laughs> okay, Daniel, you have your hand up. You have your hand up, please. Go ahead. Okay, sir, I was saying that, um, please, please, if you're not talking, can you mute your mic? Let me try to mute them from this end. Okay, sir. Because let's try. Go ahead. Be talking. Let me be muting them. Okay, sir. So I was saying that um, there's a possibility. There's a possibility for us to to do the voting on WhatsApp. WhatsApp has the pool option. So for each group, for each team, we could make a pool 
like he said, like uh, he said group, um, one, group one who put a, put a pool of the way people the way should people rate them, should like, them is like is it one of ten or stuff like that so we put from so one to ten, ten. then everybody then goes and choose one of the options then, uh, then uh, we're going to, we're going to, to be able to have access to to the statistics, the statistics like, like the pressing the highest score and stuff like that on whatsapp it's quite easier yeah, but you know, uh, it will not be a realistic voting because now the impressions are, are gone since, you understand? So what are people voting about? You know that the presentations we have made uh, is now about one month back. And uh, sincerely, if you come to vote, you will not be very objective because you still you cannot have um, that vivid uh, kind of assessment you had in your head when the groups were presenting. So the voting cannot be possible again. That's why I'm saying that we have no choice but to just have compensation marks, which I will certainly give okay. each. Okay. Yeah, which I will certainly give uh, it to each and every group so that uh, we don't get back there. We have comments coming in, and I think I'm interested. Let me see what uh, the students are saying. Um, I remember almost nothing from the dozens we had back then, and you are right. So that's why we are saying the voting cannot be done again. Voting was done during, uh, should have been done during presentation. I, I also agree with you. Um, so somebody is also saying I'm correct. So how about the people who did not present? Daniel, that question, how, how about the people who did not present? How do we manage them? Okay, so, okay, so um, I, did, I did this poll, and then from the poll, I asked when, um, can, when, is, when, are, they when are they available for presentation, and the majority was Monday, 8 p.m. Monday, uh, uh, you know, you, they mean next week. Yeah, Monday 8 p.m. They said they are available because I did the poll asking when will you when will you love us to have uh, the presentation and I put Mondays, Tuesdays and then I put times 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 p.m. for the both days. So the highest was Monday 8 p.m. Great. Now you know that we have a category of students that are not very serious. Maybe perhaps they were not even thinking it is important they come and to join for the presentations. Now we have to put a role, Daniel, you know you are my uh, co-teaching co, co, uh, assistant here. The role is going to be that mm -hmm. these that present uh, late cannot have the same marks like those that exactly. Exactly. like those that are presented in the normal settings where they were ready and came for class and did the present. We need to penalize them. Uh, so I I think Monday I will be available. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to give me a reminder so that uh, because okay. I, I have okay. class at one on Monday. So, but then if it is at eight in the morning, I have no problem. I can be around. How many groups do we have? Uh, uh, let, me check, let me check. Let me check that Google sheet. Okay, Dylan, you have your you have, you have your hand up. Please, can you talk? Yes sir. yes, sir. In fact, I wanted to remind something to Daniel. Yes. They are, they are students, students of Python, of Python one. Group 1. That's a class at, That's 8, a class at 8 p.m. So, I don't, so, so something sure so will be clashing if we put the class at 8 p.m. On, on Monday. 8 p.m. Not p.m. Not a.m. 8 p.m. In the evening. In the evening. Yes. Yes. Wow. You are talking about evening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 8 p.m. is almost 10 p.m. in Uganda. You you want me, you want my wife to, to go back home and report me to 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 her parents. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay, sir. 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 So we'll make it 8 p.m. for you. Why is 8 p.m. for you? It's going to be maybe 6 p.m. for exactly. us. Exactly. On that Monday, the only class. The only class we have here is in the morning. Yes. So from 12 o'clock upward, there's definitely no class. So you could choose any time from 12 for us here so that you put the class. Exactly. 8 p.m. Cameroon is is um, is is 10 p.m. But if you do 6 p.m. Cameroon, 
it can be eight Uganda. You, eight Uganda is still is manageable. I can manage that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we we we'll see six. We we'll say six p.m. Morning. Yes. No problem. I have no problem. I would, I would just need a reminder, Daniel, about that, so that okay, we I'll we, okay, I'll we don't you. forget. Okay. okay. So it was group group thirteen. Mm. Group um, five. five. Yes, group 13 and group 5 that do not present. Good. You know that we have only two groups, so it is not going to take us uh, long, I, I presume. Much time. Yeah, Much time. we are yes. thinking that yes. we can do it in an hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So let them, yeah, let them get prepared. And we will help them. We need to help everybody. But you know <laughs> that, you know, Daniel, that we have our colors, okay? We have our colors. Yes, Don't forget yes, to color to color these ninjas appropriately. There are those that have never appeared in any class. Give them a different color. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The colors are rich. Yes. So let's keep coloring them so that we can know how to penalize them at, at the end of uh, the course. Okay? Okay. okay sir. Yeah. So I think we are done with that. Uh, that was very highly democratic. I want to thank you, Daniel, for that. <laughs> Uh, so I think nobody has uh, a what in a, in a contest over that. So now Daniel and the others, we we need now to do the CA. That was the assignment, okay? And indeed, it is uh, out of uh, eight, 20 marks. We now need to put off the CA also. But I'll put the CA on the model platform. I I want to share it and talk about it. Uh, it is not very, very different. Oh, Daniel, have we done the CA? Maybe I may be forgetting. No, one no, one not. Ah, this guy is speaking French. Daniel, go ahead. No, so I was saying that um, we have not we have not done. The CA, we just had only this assignment. Okay, the CA will not be very different from what we have been doing in class. So we hope that uh, it will not take time for people to do it. Let me uh, share the screen so we discuss it. It's already, I was programming it on uh, on the model platform, but of recent, the students are telling me that they are challenged uh, to uh, when it comes to accessing the platform. But then I don't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't have any other option because the platform is the only, uh, the only official way of uh, administering and doing our classes. You know, even doing classes on the on the on the Google Meet is not official. But uh, you the class delegate will, will report this to our to the administration so that they understand that the class took place okay uh, are you able to see the screen yes sir, yes sir, yes sir the screen is, work is okay good. good now we want to do an instructional manual that is um, uh why am i thinking that i gave you this thing <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe these others, let me open only this one. I was, um, uh, let me, there are many, but let me, let me focus on what I want you to do. Let me put editing so that we edit, uh, we understand exactly what is required of us. Okay. Okay. I need to. I need to edit. Okay, you see that we want to have uh, this on Monday, the 23rd uh, of January, 2023 at 8 a.m. 
we have about 11 days and 20 hours to do that our model is showing that we are 64 and nobody has submitted yet uh, so I think we are good to go with this one now I want you to write assignment uh, this is a writing assignment you are going to write a user instructional manual now you 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 for this assignment, you write a document that provides the coherent and well-designed instructions on using a software product or hardware product. So you you are you are this is a, a, a instructional manual. Uh, I I think you know that there are many types of uh, uh, manuals. Okay, there are, uh, there are instructional manuals, there are user manuals, but this one is mainly uh, helping uh, giving instructions to the users on how to use a certain product. You could take a software product or you can take a hardware product. We don't expect you to do instruction user manual on how to how to prepare Aero. <laughs> so we this is very clear. You either do on a software product, for example, you can do a user manual, and I mean an instructional manual that guides uh, learners on how to use the model platform or how to use the portal. I'm just giving an example. Or you might do uh, an instructional uh, manual that guides, um, gives instructions to the users on how to disintegrate uh, a computer or how to how to repair a computer screen, something like that, you know. So the manual uh, will will include the following sections. Of course, we, we need the title page. We need an overview, then the equipments and the materials that are needed, the definitions, if appropriate, then the instructions, okay? So you, you, you know that in technical writing, we don't write stories. So you, we are more interested in uh, graphics, you know. Uh, we are more interested in graphics, the graphs, the, the direct, more than we are interested in the text. And if there is even text, the text should be as minimum as possible. So you say you must have at least two graphics in your instructions. You More than two graphics might be asked for if your instructions require more than two. Uh, so we are saying nobody is going to write uh, this instruction or manual without uh, uh, what? Without putting these graphics. For example, if you are showing us how to repair a, com a laptop screen, I'm just giving an example. You don't narrate a story that is not technical writing, but you just maybe show this procedure using. Uh, using uh, graphics and a few text to guide the user on how to do it. We are thinking that a good instructional manual is that one that you write and give to somebody, and that person should be able to operate a product uh, using that manual successfully. So if you give your instructional manual to your colleague to, to do what is required of that person to do, a person that has never done it before and they are failing to do it, using your manual, then you know that there is uh, a problem. Uh, you might put warnings or statements of caution, you know, in instruction uh, guides or instructional manuals, there are cautions. You caution the users on what is likely to happen if, uh, and the dangers, uh, you know, you know that some of these manuals, they caution you about electric shocks, they caution you about uh, dangers, that can hurt you with sharp equipments and all that. I don't want to give a minimum or a maximum number of words for this assignment, but you know that uh, you don't write so much. What I am interested in for you to do is to write a well-designed instructional guide for a user. So your assignment should at least be two pages in length, two pages. You don't need more than that, okay? Um, so that uh, you don't bore people with uh, uh, with what? With a lot of text. It's, it's not allowed in uh, 
in technical writing. So I suggest that you select um, a, a technology or a product. It's not about the subject, but a product which you are already very familiar with. And uh, you, you get your graphics, you, you, take, uh, you explain the tasks. Um, uh, don't plagiarize content, okay? Because we are saying that the, 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 the one bad thing that can happen when people are writing these instructional manuals is a temptation to plagiarize content. They go to the internet and they just copy and paste content and do that. So it is not good. And even the graphics you want to use, make sure that these are graphics that are in a, a reusable uh, copyrighted mode. So you don't just get any type of graphics that uh, will create you trouble. Next time you want to put your thing on the internet, they are just uh, uh, cracking you down because you have plagiarized. So if you do use graphics from another source, please give credit to where you have got that uh, graphic. So you can define, let us know the audience that is that you are doing this for. For example, simple instructions are, to, are for to a beginner on using Excel is different from uh, instructions to an advanced user to perform the specific task. So uh, you receive comments from me uh, on this assignment as uh, well as from colleagues, but if the time is not there, when you write, you'll suddenly receive some comments from me. Um, then you submit your draft of your assignment into the assignment folder here on model. The deadline is uh, the 23rd of January, 2023 at 8 a.m., which is uh, 11 days from now. Uh, so I am not, I'm not worried that uh, you will not be able to do this. I know you will do it because these are things we, we've been talking about in class. So uh, now I, 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 I am thinking that, um, I'm thinking that we are good to go. I can um, talk about, um, the end of semester exam. I'll talk about the end of semester exam that I will also program. Uh, you know you are already doing your exam, so I don't think it is a problem. You are already doing your exam, so there is no problem with that. Can I have some questions, please? Any worries, any concerns before I switch on to the exam to make emphasis? Hello, uh, have you been have you been listening to me, yeah. or you yeah. or or are you? Yes, yes uh, Michael. Uh, my question. Go ahead. Yes, my, question, question. my question is 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 the CA to be done in group or is individual? No, no, no. The CA is individual because we have already done some a group activity, so we will not take on another group activity. Okay, sir. Any other question? Okay, sir. Any other question? Daniel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Like, what of the what of the yes, sir. What of the exam? Will it be also group or no exam is individual? Uh, but it is uh, about writing five uh, documents of the of, of, of five technical documents that technical computer scientists write, you understand? So uh, we will, you. I think by the end of today, it will be up and running. But I communicated this in class, so you must have started writing. Then you compile these documents into a PDF, okay? And then you submit. Latifa, you have your hand up? What's the CA about? Ah, are you just coming in? No, sir. No, sir. 
Uh, how can you ask me this question? So I was asking, so I was asking about the CA. But I've, heard, I've been talking about the CA. Uh, that's what I'm asking. Are you just coming in? No, sir. No, sir. I mean the, I mean the individual, the individual what CA. What's the topic on? Wow. I didn't, I didn't get it. Wow. Uh, Lavlin, did you get it? Because I was just explaining it. Who got it? So that we can have. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I, 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 I got, I got very well. Okay, can you take it back for Latifa? Um. So the CA, the CA, what he was explaining is, um, we are going to do a CA, and the CA should write a user, user manual, and all the details have been uploaded for module. So if you go to module, you see the PDF with exactly what we have to do. But in general, it is right to write a user manual. Daniel, it is not a user manual. It is an instructional manual. An instructional manual. Yes. Okay, sir. So I thought that was the assignment. No, the assignment. That's what I. That's why I was. Confused. Okay, Daniel. Can you take over that? She thinks that she was thinking that is the assignment. So when did we do the assignment? Okay, the assignment was the presentation, the presentation that we were to do, and your group did not present. So you are one of the people that have to be presented, and the presentation will be done on Monday, 6 p.m. So uh, that is the assignment, the one that we're presenting now. This one is the CA. Okay. 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 I think Latifa, that's fine now. So we... We are thinking that uh, you, nobody is confused again. So now uh, I, I am expecting I am expecting everybody to pass this course, please. Daniel, mute your microphone, but you have your hand up so you can speak. Okay, so I wanted to ask. I think um, um, you could. I would, would be really good if you could do do an explanation again of the final project like another explanation because i don't think many people were available or maybe took note to um the the, the explanation of what the final exam will be even though you have uploaded but i'll really be grateful if you really explain it again deeply what we actually supposed to do okay i am as you are speaking i'm opening it so i can share it uh, and then we will uh, so the students so that we we talk about it there's no problem uh, I'm trying to open it. So let me share my screen again. Uh, and then So how is your own there? Fine, sir. Young is too much dust. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, let me try to. Confirm to me if you are seeing something like uh, fall 2023. You know, these are project based exams, so I'm not worried. <laughs> Are you seeing the screen? Yes, sir, sure. Yeah, this, uh, you see that you have only two weeks to do this thing, okay? Uh, <coughs> these are project-based exams, so I'm not worried to, to show, but this is what I've already presented to the administration as your exam. It is yet to be vetted, but if they it, if it is rejected, then I'll just get back to you. I, I don't think it can be rejected because it is a highly uh, project based. You know, ICT University is trying to discourage exams that uh, require people students to cram and reproduce knowledge. 
we are building on uh, project-based exams and scenario-based exams, and this is one of them. Now, like Daniel said, to accomplish this exam, you need to write only six technical documents for engineers listed below. You follow the guidelines and the formats that we've taught in class to write these documents. Extra marks will be awarded for proper use of font styles, proper use of grammar, proper use of formats. Now, you are supposed to use a screencasting tool. You know, I normally love screencasting because it gives you opportunity to explain. You understand? Uh, in many cases, we, when you look at what you have written and we've not heard from you, it, it may not uh, give you opportunity to, to get uh, your point across. So you use a screencasting tool. I have I think many of you have taught, you know that I always talk about this, to record a video of not more than six minutes to explain and justify your structures, justify your styles, justify your sections, justify, like, like for example, uh, you can even include, uh, include the instructional manual you're going to use uh, for the CA into your exam. Now, you, you, you may want now to uh, tell us in a video why you selected uh, uh, repairing of uh, why you selected uh, uh, documenting instruction user instruction manuals on uh, repairing uh, laptop screens and uh, you also want to tell us why you have written uh, in that format and you also want to defend a few sections you have included in your document. And you also want now to show us um, that your write-up is really technical and it has um, a technical language and you are justifying for the reasons for us to give you marks. So you upload a link to your video and then your document in one PDF file on the model platform. Uh, the types of technical documents that scientists and engineers need to write are listed here. We have more, 12, but you only need to take six. We have specifications, we have papers, we have articles, we have technical report, we have dissertations, we have technical books, we have project proposals, we have resume and CV, we have requirement specifications, we have design specifications, we have user manuals, we have testing documentation, we have reference manuals, we have maintenance manuals. We've not even included instructional manuals, but you can include it since you are working on it in uh, the CA. So I'm thinking that you can include the instructional manual even if you have worked on it in the CA. So it makes your exam very, very easy. Uh, so I, I've stopped sharing. Let me see if I have questions. Any questions, please? The hand is up for Eric. Eric, your hand is up, please. Excuse me, sir, but um, for what I see here is that a user's manual is the same as an instruction manual or a user's guide or an instruction guide that they are all the same thing about instruction of how to use a, um, a good or a service. Or thing that you're putting in different um, the different types, the different types instruction manuals, instruction manuals, 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 Am I even saying anything? <laughs> instructional manuals have instructions on how to operate something, on how to do something. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, somebody can help me. Uh, Ivana. Kamwa, your hand is up. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so, yeah. To do the assignment and the, the, final, the exam, final exam, there will be no, it's not a big deal. And I think you can do it on time, but I have a problem with the submission. Uh -uh. Before you get there, we are 
di differentiating between user manuals and instructional manuals. Do you see a difference there? Oh, I did not put my hand up for that one. Uh, okay, put your hand down then. We'll get back to you. Can somebody come in there? I was going to say something, but then I'm confusing the words. Could there be, uh, Eric says, instructional manuals are the same like user manuals. Do you want to agree with him? Uh, this is uh, Joel. Joel, please go ahead. Uh, sir, I think uh, instructional manuals give instructions on how to manipulate or install a particular uh, system or device or something. And then a user manual gives every information about the device to the user. It could be the 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 uh, the way the thing was built or or just information about the device itself. And also, and probably, also probably the instructions. The instructional, the instructional manual, manual gives particularly instructions. I want to agree with you. You know that a user manual is very broad. You understand? It brings out many aspects. But within a user manual, there can still be instructions. You understand? Uh, I don't want to completely believe that user manuals are the same as instruction manuals. But then, Lavlin, I saw your hand up. Uh, yes, sir. I think a uh, user manual is mostly for the end users, like uh, those who are who, those who will be ready to buy, like they really the end the end users. And instruction manuals are like for if I say that it's three stage in production to the end users, then the end users are using the user manual and the middle ones are using the instruction manual. I don't know if I. Yeah, they're quite confusing. They're almost similar, but then we need to understand that one is for the end users. User manuals it has a lot of issues to cover about. They're even heavier. They have instructions, they have, they describe the technologies and all that. But instructional manuals are typically uh, directing you on a certain specific task. You understand? You, you can have a user manual on how to use a computer, but then you can have an instructional manual on how to install a, a laptop screen that's specific to a given task, to go through procedural tasks on how to execute a, a particular task. So um, I'm seeing one hand from, uh, it's as if I saw a hand. I think everybody people don't have their hands again. Okay. Daniel, you have your hand, please go ahead. Okay, so, okay, so, so I wanted to find out if firstly if, uh, if um you have uploaded, you have uploaded uh, that uh, that the this the, the, the instruction about, about the final project module, or module. Then secondly, then secondly I, wanted I wanted to know. To know uh, um, if there are, are resources or uh, each of those uh, documents, each of those documents like, that, like that could help, that could guide, that could guide on, on, because yeah, because yeah you will start in class, but then, then there um, they might be need to consult some, some documents, some documents to, to, get more to get more details and, and, and stuff like that. So I wanted to know if uh, there are resources on the module platform for us to use because I have a lot of questions for this document, like let's see the user manual, knowing how many pages is supposed to be and all of that. So I don't know if the documents that are uploaded on on module, so we could use to 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 do the the document, and then if you have uploaded the final project. Yeah, I I I will start with the aspect of uploading. The uploading is something I'm going to do now. I have uh, developed the question, but I've not uploaded it yet. Uh, I've been talking about it in class, so I think I, I want you to, to be having an idea and start working. About the resources, yes, we have uh, some resources, but I'm going now to look at those, the resources I've been uploading. But when you look at the model platform, we have the resources there already. But now, I will now deliberately go and see whether I can have additional resources that are particularly aiming at helping you to conduct this project, to do this, to do this project. 
Have I answered you, Daniel? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. yes. I'll I'll give it time after you after this class, and then I'll I'll see if there's any other additional uh, resource that I know that you might need to execute this. I'll put it out. Uh, uh, Daniel, that was your hand. Then we have Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah, it's already afternoon here. It's getting to 2 p.m. It's uh, one. It's half past one. Okay, sir. So I wanted to ask you, you spoke about using tools such as um, screen casting mm -hmm. to make a video and explain your work. So are we going to submit it so? You submit the link to the video and you submit also the document. Okay, the document okay, should is, 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 is Wait, sir, where, in PDF. The document is in where should, where should we? Sorry? So let's listen about, about the document. That the document should be. Yeah, all you know, you have six. You have six technical documents you are you are writing. You understand? But now you are not yes, going to submit yes. each of them because the submission on the model platform is tricky. You may not have all. Or, or all the attempts to do your submissions one after the other. So we are saying that in order to do that, you compile your documents, you put them in a single PDF, doc, uh, PDF file, then you submit the PDF file. Now on the PDF file, you attach uh, a link, okay? You attach a link, the link which shows that, um, the, the link that you can click on to go to your video that you have done uh, to explain your work. Let me hope, Kelly, I've answered you. Hello, Kelly. Then let's now. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, now I, I go. I want to go to Kamwa. Van, go ahead. Okay. What happened? Okay, it's like you are muted. Come on, you are muted. If you are speaking, you are muted. We are not hearing you. Okay. As I was talking, I was talking about the submission on uh, model. I have some difficulties with my model account yeah. since the beginning of the year, and I think I'm not, the only, one I'm not the only one. So how can how can I proceed? I don't work with the model. I am not a technical officer. I'm Dr. Abdullah. I'm an instructor. Uh, my role is to teach. I'm also a model user like you, but good enough. The ICT University has a technical office. Okay. Sincerely, there is no way we can shy away from model. The ICT University has to just, you know, initially I was using Scology, initially. Scology does not have any challenges. For the past five years, four years I've used it, you can't get any problems. But model is something else. Yesterday, my level one students were failing to submit their assignments because there are too many and they wanted to do it at the same time. That is how the platform malfunctioned and closed them out. So yesterday I was stressed up. So why do you, so why do you even stop using Scology? Because Scology was really nice. Yeah, because Scology is not an official platform. It's a platform that I was using as an individual. And then uh, in, a, in a manner to harmonize e-learning in ICT University, we were advised to... Uh, switch to model, but model seems to be having so many challenges. But now to answer Ivan uh, Kamwa, it is not my responsibility to give you technical advice on how you use your model platform. We are thinking that if you are not on the model platform, you are not a student. That is actually the analogy of the ICT university, because that is where they make their audit. That's where they do their audit. That's where they get you if you have not paid your school fees. That's how they close you down on your classes. So we cannot shy away from it. It is something uh, you need to go and check out. If you're having challenges, maybe you say for the rest of the year you have had challenges, 
please, it is, it is not Dr. Abdullah to address that. Go to the technical office. Tell them that I'm not going to miss my exams. And yet I've paid all my fees. It is your right to have access to these resources. Be bold enough and get a solution, okay? Some have I answered you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've understood. I'll go to them. Yes. Uh, now, Joel, you have something to tell us. Yes, sir. I have a question. Yes. How many pages should each document be? Ah, we said uh, for the CA, we said you can do two, okay, documents. I mean two pages. That is the CA, the one of the instructional manual. But then for the exam, I am not limiting you to pages. I, uh, you saw that I was saying we cannot limit you to the number of words. We cannot limit you to the number of pages, but we just want you to do exactly the proper sections. Of course, if you miss out on some of the sections, it will not grade you uh, top. It will just grade you average level. So the best thing is to do what is required. We cannot limit you to pages. Joel, have I answered you? Yes, sir. Because I, uh, yes, sir. But I was wondering, it would have been nice if we had just a minimum amount because you cannot give us uh, probably a maximum. But if there is a minimum for us, minimum is two pages. Maybe if you page, page is two minimum pages. is two pages. It's two pages. I'm thinking that anything you want to write cannot be less than two pages. But you know that technical writing, we don't write much. You know that we are not interested in bulky, bulky things. We are interested in the in the in, in in the style. We are interested in the tone. We are interested in the audience you are targeting. We are interested in the clarity you are making. We are interested in uh, making it uh, making things simple. Because if you define what technical writing is, is simplifying uh, technical words to ordinary users so that they understand exactly what you are trying to mean. So it's not about writing. So I'm not even taken up by pages. Okay, sir. Understood. Okay, sir. Understood. Yeah. I want to thank you so much for this class. Unless Daniel, my co-teaching assistant, has anything to say. Um, we are coming back on Monday. Uh, that Monday will be for only those that have not uh, They've done their presentations. Take note of your deadlines. Do your assignments. I mean, CA, and then we can meet again. Is the timetable out? Is the timetable examination timetable out? No, sir. It's not, no, sir, it's not out. No, sir, not yet. Okay, then we need to wait a bit. Uh, Latifa, what do you have to tell us? He said the presentation is it online? Which presentation, Latifa, are you talking about? Are you are you just coming in? Are you just coming in? Yes, I don't get you. Ah, Daniel, that is your question to answer. <laughs> Daniel, that's your question to answer, please. Hello, Daniel. So I don't get her. I don't, yes, sir, I don't get her question. I don't get her. Question. She can put it back to you. Latifa, go ahead, please. Hello, Latifa. Hello. Go ahead and ask your question. That question is for Daniel. Me, I'm shying away from it. I was asking if the presentation is online at 6 p.m. Yes, the presentation will be online 6 p.m. Monday. Um, I guess it will be definitely on Google Meet. Yeah, I think Google okay. Meet. Okay. I think Google Meet is better. Yes, it's better. Yes, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I would like to thank you. I would like to thank you. We have been 38 of us on this call. I would like to... Thank you so much for sparing off time to attend this class. 
I'm having a question. Please take your question, please. <laughs> Take your question. It's okay, sir. Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> she wants to ask you for that, I think it's okay. Ah, okay. Then I have a hand. Uh, these people don't want us to go away. There's a hand. Uh, Amapo? Please uh, get a mambo. Are you sure this? The right hand is on by me. I think. Uh, don't you think these people? Okay, okay, okay. These people are just disturbing. Okay, fine. Uh, th thank you so much, my ninjas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will have another class. We we'll have another class next Wednesday as we keep winding up the semester. Have a great time and bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.